Okay, so I've added the limit switches to my home-built um, CNC laser machine. And so I'll show you the, the brackets I made and how this homing, homing switch works. Um, so first of all, you want it to move in Z, you want it to move up out of the way so that then when it starts moving X and Y that it doesn't hit any fixtures or anything. So you want the Z limit switch attached to the top of the Z. So I have just a, a little um, micro switch and just made a little bracket and attached it so that when the Z goes up it hits that switch. In X, you want to move to the left side of the X, so I have a, a bracket made for that limit switch. And in the Y, the table moves to the back of the machine, um, which actually makes the spindle towards the front of the of that Y axis um, plate. So there's the switch for the, the Y axis. Now those switches wire into um, this connector. I'll show you the connector once I get over here. So wires into this connector I have just a 16 pin ribbon cable connector with all those wired up so that's where my switches attach and the, the z-axis the, the wires for the z-axis switch run over here and through this cable track along with the um, the laser power and control for the laser and also the z-axis stepper motor so those all those cables go through that track um, my tracks a little bit wider than I needed but I happen to have it in, in stock so I just used the one I had in stock rather than ordering something special So on laser GRBL, the, the homing switch is uh, right here, this magnifying glass with the, with the home. And so you click on that, and it first moves the Z. Up, it hits the switch, moves down, then moves slowly up to the exact position. Then it moves X and Y at the same time. find positions of those axes. So that's how the homing function works and I'll show you what needs to be done in the parameters to make that happen. Okay so I have the um, gerbil control board that has the um, clear plastic case and so with this one there is a error on the screening for the limit switches for both the X and the Z limit they're opposite of what's screened on the board so this document shows the correct way Z limit is the on the left 
of the connector and X limits on the right. The Y is correct, that's the one in the middle. But this shows the pinout of that 16 pin connector. And so that's where you need to connect your switch between the um, Z limit and the ground. X limit and ground and Y limit and ground. So um, I use the set to the left first. There, you know, there's two. For example, there are two Z limit switches that can be put on there. So I use the left two pins <coughs> for each of the axes. And this shows the the error in the screening. They have it crossed out and they have it the correct way. Z on the left, X on the right. Okay, this is for the <clears throat> the board that's in the clear plastic case. Alright, so the parameters that need to change in order to enable homing are F, uh, I'm sorry, dollar sign um, 22 and dollar sign 23. 22 enables the the homing and 23 switches the direction that it homes. Now this is how it comes default at least on my board where 22 and 23 were both zero. So in order to um, change these um, I'm going to just hit the this button here in the lower right hand corner which clears the clears that console and then I'm going to type in uh, dollar sign 22 equals 1 so we're going to change 22 to a 1 and that enables the sorry enables the homing so we just click this paper airplane thing that sends it to the controller and then we also want to change dollar sign 23 equals 3 see that okay there we go and so we'll send that to the controller so those are the commands that got sent I'm going to clear that screen and I'm going to hit the dollar dollar which displays all of the oops I gotta get down here okay let's try that again dollar dollar and that displays all of the parameters and then we scroll up here to 22 and 23 and you can see 22 is now 1 and 23 is 3 now 23 is the one that controls which direction the axis moves um, to get to home so the three changes two of the axes to go the opposite direction that it would normally go default. So you need to make those two changes to F, uh, to parameter 22 and to parameter 23 and then your homing should work properly. Okay guys so that's uh, how you install and set it up to work with with the homing switches and by the way if you have a 3018 Pro this um, same same uh, setup works with a 3018 Pro it's it's uh, this is just the bigger version of the 3018 Pro so anyway 
Um, if you have a 3018 Pro, then you can use the same instructions and it'll work just fine. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching and please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.